Hey, 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 super friends, welcome back to my channel. Hey, I wanted to show you something that I found last night over on eBay during my meanderings to find sweet deals for DC figures to bring to this channel. I typed in DC Multiverse and then I slapped the word prototype on the end because occasionally I do like to see what prototypes are hitting eBay. I never buy the prototypes because you never know if they're real or they're fake or not. And in this case, it doesn't even matter if they're real or fake. I still want to point out some of the things that I've seen on them. The molds are definitely real, whether they're prototypes or not. That's debatable. Quite often they are, but sometimes they're not. So let's just jump into it. The first one I want to show you here is actually the Black Lightning prototype. Now I know that the current wave that is coming up with the Wally West Flash, the John Stewart Green Lantern, has a Black Lightning in it. But currently up for pre-order, there's just a silhouette of what Black Lightning is going to look like. Well, it's now been revealed. I can actually see it with my own eyes, the basic sculpt, that it's going to be the television version of Black Lightning. Not exactly something I'm super excited about. I would have rather had a comic accurate black lightning, but it's a black lightning nonetheless. You can see that with this prototype they've gone with a black, a bright pinkish red, and then a beige for the hands, and then white for the kneecaps. And that he also comes with at least one that we can see here, lightning accessory that goes in his hand. Now remember, this is not the final product. You're not really going to get an idea of how cool or not cool the figure's going to look until you see the final sculpted in the proper colors and painted version of the figure. This is just the molds of the figure. But we do see that there is a ton of brand new sculpted detail on this figure. There's like pretty much nothing that has been old and reused which is very, very cool. Mattel went all out, it seems, and tooled a completely new figure. Odd that it was Black Lightning that was chose to be a retooled figure when he's not really a super popular character, when there are definitely other characters they probably could have retooled that could use brand new tooling, but nonetheless, it is still cool to see brand new tooling work in any figure that Mattel does, because quite often, as a lot of people complain about, there's just a lot of reused parts. I get why that happens. It's a cost-saving measure, but there are definitely times when I absolutely wish that a certain detail here or there was sculpted on rather than just painted. So that's cool. And next up is the Wally West Flash figure, the legacy Wally West Flash, the one that they just killed off a few months ago, DC! Damn you! Sorry, getting emotional, getting ahead of myself. You might not actually be dead. You never know what's going on in comics. Moving on. They've used a plethora of colors in this. They've got white, black, gray, a bright pinkish red, blue for the kneecaps, green for the hands, beige for the forearms, a kind of yellowish brown for the biceps, brown for the hair, and then again, reddish pink for the face. The colors on this are all over the board. But I get why they do it. It's for the photos. It's to see how the pieces are all going to fit together, how they're all going to look, yada yada yada. With a look at this figure, it is now 100% evident that Flash will be 100% reused parts, except for the head. At least if these pictures are to be believed. Some people are not exactly very happy about the Wally West Flash face sculpt. I say give it a chance, it actually looks pretty good. I think that it's gonna look great once it's painted up. As long as all the paint stamping goes where it's supposed to, I think that it'll look pretty good. Not gonna lie, I do kinda wish that there were more sculpted details. Maybe the emblem on his chest, possibly the lightning bolts. Just having that head as a newly sculpted piece, to me, seems like they probably could have done something a little cooler. Again, at least with that chest emblem. Give us the lightning bolt as a sculpted detail. I'm always so conflicted. I understand why they don't do all the sculpted detail. I just wish it was there. And then finally we have prototype images of Nightwing and we all pretty much know what he's gonna look like, but it's just neat to see this figure in all his weird multicolor glory. Again, lots of grays, blacks, browns, blues, whites, beiges used for this figure, bright pinkish reds, even some orange for the forearms. But the one thing that we do get to see is exactly which pieces have been newly sculpted, that being the fists, the forearms, and the head. Everything else is a reused part, but with a character, again, really like, I should back up and say, like Wally West, I get why most of the parts are reused. Again, would have liked to see that lightning bolt sculpted on his chest, but I do understand, again, with a character like Nightwing, why there's not a whole lot of newly sculpted detail. Sure, you could actually get away with sculpting, you know, his logo on his chest, just the lines, and then painting within those sculpted details. But I get, I mean, really, you don't have to do that to pull off a reasonable Nightwing figure. You can just paint it on there and it looks just fine because his suit is just a skin-tight suit. So, I get it. 
Now looking at the boots, I'm not sure if these are newly sculpted detail. I'm not going to pull all of my multiverse figures out and have a look. They might be, they might not be. It really is in the end of no consequence. But the one thing is for sure is they're definitely not just the basic multiverse feet. The great big fat flipper feet that say Superman has. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and make a prediction and say that Nightwing and Wally West do not have any kind of special elbows, just simple 90 degree single hinges as you can see here. They likely don't spin or rotate at all, as in I don't think that they hit a spinny peg inside the forearm at the last minute. And although there is a slight chance that the forearms on Black Lightning have some kind of rotation, I'm going to say that that's not likely at this point either. At least I can't see it from looking at the images. I feel like they're all going to have basic elbows, yet they're all going to have the double jointed knees. Now as far as pivoting ankles go, I really can't tell from these pictures either. I'm hoping that they all have the ankle pivots because that'll make it easier to pose them. I think if any of them are going to have pivoting ankles, I think that Black Lightning is the one that is the most likely just because he's a newer figure and it's all new sculpting, so they might as well add it when they can. As for the Flash, I don't know because he really does look like he has the big, huge multiverse flipper feet, so he may or may not. I mean, Superman didn't have them and he has the flipper feet, so yeah, I oh, know I'm gonna call it now. Flash probably is not going to have ankle pivots, while Nightwing and Black Lightning, there's a good possibility they will. That's my final prediction. But yeah, when I found these things online, I thought that bringing these images and having a little chat about them might be something that would interest the super friends who watch the channel, because you may not have ever found these, you might not know what to look for, you might not even know these kind of things exist, so... Here they are. And as a side note, I still have yet to order this current wave of multiverse figures. I've usually got it ordered well in advance, but I've been so broke. And the thing is, when I order my figures, I try to order them from the company that is going to get them to me the fastest, which means I never order my multiverse figures from Big Bad Toy Store because they just don't usually get them in fast enough for me to get the videos out to be competitive. But right now, Big Bad Toy Store has them on for the cheapest that I can find anywhere and money is really something that's tight right now so i'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place get the reviews out late and pay a little bit less pay a little bit more from my usual supplier but then get the reviews up early channels gotta grow that's just the way it is when i do multiverse figures i'm one of the guys that has to get them out as soon as i possibly can other stuff I don't mind as much, getting it out a little bit later and other people can do that first, but Multiverse and DC Essentials, I love to get those videos up kind of as fast as I can. That's sort of my jam. Everyone's got their thing, this one's mine. But I still haven't ordered them yet. Jeez. All right, I'll see you later. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, found this informative, give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down in the comment below. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell if you want to see new videos from me, and I will see you next time. Bye, super friends. I'm going to order.